Da da da. Hey guys. <laughs> Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 Hero for another video. And guess what? I finally got another Chevy demonstration tape in the mail today. Woohoo! And this time, this is the 1995 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Now, um, what is the Monte Carlo, you may ask? Well, I think this was, this was the manufacturer for Chevrolet from NASCAR games, I think. But we're just going to actually play this tape, so this is what the tape looks like. So anyway, um, yeah, I got this in the mail. Um, I only played side two when I got it in the mail, but I'll show you what side two sounds like. But anyway, we're just going to have to deal with side one first, so... Yeah, because we are always start off with side one in every tape, so... So anyway, this is what side one looks like, and this is side two, so... Let's put side one in to show you what it sounds like. Here we go. Congratulations on your choice of a 1995 Monte Carlo, and thank you for letting Chevrolet serve your transportation needs. Your new car will deliver all the value, dependability, and performance you expect, and more. Inside and out, Monte Carlo's blend of style, comfort, and safety will fit your personal driving needs. Whether you have an LS or a Z34 model, your Monte Carlo offers a wide variety of standard features. Monte Carlo's front-wheel drive, sequential fuel injection, all-new interior, and other well-designed luxury features make it a value-packed car, sure to exceed your expectations. Monte Carlo's sleek form makes a smart, spirited statement. Contemporary exterior styling is accented by tinted window glass and body color moldings, mirrors, and front and rear bumpers. Two-sided galvanized steel body panels, a stainless steel exhaust system, and a base coat clear coat paint treatment will give your Monte Carlo superior rust and corrosion protection throughout your ownership experience and help keep it looking showroom new. Monte Carlo meets 1997 government side impact standards. Side guard door beams, energy absorbing bumpers with impact bars, standard anti-lock brakes, driver and passenger side airbags, and other safety features help you and your passengers feel secure. Inside, your Monte Carlo offers a host of standard features to make driving comfortable and reduce fatigue. Extra acoustical insulation and auxiliary door seals contribute to a quiet, relaxing ride. And Monte Carlo's four-way adjustable seats have a standard tilt feature to help you position them for maximum comfort. Three-point active lap and shoulder belts for two front and two rear passengers keep you feeling secure. Shoulder belts feature adjustable comfort guides. A center lap belt is provided in the rear. Please consult your owner's manual before using a child seat in your Monte Carlo. Dome lamps and reading lamps on the rear view mirror can help you find things after dark and standard illuminated entry helps get you on your way. Improved design wet arm wipers keep the windshield clean for all weather conditions. Visor vanity mirrors are provided for both the driver and front passenger. Monte Carlo's convenience extends back to the trunk as plush carpeting, up to 15.7 cubic feet of cargo space, standard lighting, and an available cargo net keep luggage and other items safe and secure. But there's more to Monte Carlo than meets the eye. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss the features that set your Monte Carlo apart. Of course. First, we'll talk about performance and maintenance features. Then we'll look inside at all of the comfort and convenience features that make it a pleasure to drive. Part two of this program provides information about your Delco ETR radio yep, with course. extended range speakers. Radio. Explains some of its features and provides music selections to help you adjust your radio controls. A lot of music selections at side two. Monte Carlo's exceptional performance comes from a permanently lubricated front and rear independent suspension, power front disc rear drum brakes, and an outstanding power plant. If you have an LS, your Monte Carlo is equipped with a 3100 engine with sequential fuel injection. 
This engine boasts 165 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds torque. If you have a Z34 coupe, it's equipped with a 3.4 liter V6 engine. This engine features 24 valves, dual overhead cam design, and sequential fuel injection. This engine boasts up to 210 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 215 foot-pounds of torque at 4000 RPM. Power for the most demanding performance enthusiast. The V6 package includes a dual exhaust. Sequential fuel injection delivers sure-fire starting even in cold weather and an onboard computer controls various engine functions to provide more efficient engine operation and maintain optimal fuel economy and performance. Your Monte Carlo is equipped with an advanced design, electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. Power-assisted front disc rear drum brakes provide controlled braking with little pedal effort. McPherson strut front suspension and fully independent rear suspension maximize traction over the roughest surfaces and provide a stable ride. Your Monte Carlo is equipped with an anti-lock brake system, or ABS. ABS can slow or stop you more effectively while helping to maintain steering capability. When the ABS controller determines one or more wheels is about to lock during braking, the computer-controlled system monitors each wheel as you brake, then modulates each brake unit to help prevent wheel lockup and minimize skidding. Because your wheels keep turning, you gain additional directional and stopping control without pumping your brakes. A low track light on your instrument panel lets you know when road conditions are slippery. Your Monte Carlo is as easy to maintain as it is comfortable to drive. Beneath the hood, fluid reservoirs are conveniently located and clearly labeled. To open the hood, park and then pull the release lever located under the dash on the side panel. Next, go to the front of the car and pull up on the secondary release located between the grille and the center of the hood. The hood lifts easily thanks to gas-assisted struts. Items which should be checked regularly include the oil, coolant, power steering fluid, brake fluid, and windshield washer fluid. Composite headlamps use a chip-resistant plastic lens and a halogen light bulb which can be replaced quickly and without tools. Please see your owner's manual and maintenance schedule for more information. Another important feature you should be aware of is found in your glove box. It's a leatherette portfolio that contains your owner's manual and maintenance schedule, the warranty and assistance information booklet, and the tire warranty booklet. We've put extra effort into making your owner's manual easy to read, even in an emergency. It's full of useful information and illustrations, with an extensive index to help you quickly find what you need. To fully enjoy and preserve the investment in your new automobile, please read all of the information supplied in your portfolio. Also included in your portfolio is information about Chevrolet roadside assistance. If you're ever stranded in your Monte Carlo, a qualified Chevrolet representative can give you advice about minor repairs or arrange for towing service and alternate transportation. They'll also help locate a locksmith or a service company to help change a tire or bring gas. The call is toll free. For assistance, call 1-800-CHEB-USA. Any time of the day or night, every day of the year, including holidays and weekends. A roadside assistance decal is affixed to the lower right-hand corner of the driver's side window for convenient reference. Yep, that's right. Look around the interior and you'll notice everything from the seats to the instrumentation has been designed for your comfort and convenience. The panoramic windshield and large side and back window glass areas offer excellent visibility to decrease blind spots while you're changing lanes in traffic. Monte Carlo offers plenty of convenient storage areas. In addition to this spacious glove box, there are door pockets, seat back pockets, and a storage area in the front center armrest. Your driver's seat back and cushion may be adjusted up or down. Just squeeze the lever at the front right of the seat cushion. Pull up or push down to the desired position, then release the lever. Both seats may be adjusted fore and aft by pulling up on the horizontal lever at the front of the seat.
moving the seat to the position you want, and then releasing the lever. You can also recline either front seat back. Just pull up on the lever on the outer side of the seat cushion near the door and move the seat to the position you want. If you have a power adjusting driver's seat, the controls are located on the side of the seat cushion. Your carpet, floor mats, seats and door panels have been treated with Scotchgard fabric protector to keep them looking new longer. A quick wipe with a damp sponge or cloth will clean most spills or other messes. You'll find more information in your owner's manual. Easy to see backlit control panels on each door put full control of Monte Carlo's standard power locks and power windows with driver lockout at your fingertips. Monte Carlo has a state-of-the-art security system called Passkey 2. This system allows your car to be started only by an ignition key embedded with a correctly coated pellet. Duplicate ignition keys may be obtained from a Chevrolet dealer. Many locksmiths can also provide duplicates. Passkey 2 may make you eligible for certain insurance discounts. Ask your agent for details. Your Monte Carlo may be equipped with remote keyless entry. This feature allows you to unlock the doors or open the trunk from a control on your key ring as you approach your vehicle. This eliminates fumbling with your keys in a dark parking lot. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and twice to unlock both doors. With the available remote trunk release feature, a yellow button is located below the left side of the dash near the parking brake release handle. The shift lever must be in park to operate this feature. And if you get a flat tire, there's a standard compact spare tire and lightweight jack in the trunk under the carpeting to help get you on your way. Carefully read the owner's manual instructions prior to using the jack. Diets. Next, let's look at your instrument panel controls and gauges. Bright lighting and good locations make the gauges and controls easy to see and operate. Your gauges and warning lights give you information you need to keep your Monte Carlo in top condition. There is a service engine soon light, oil pressure and low oil level warning lights, a safety belt reminder light, and a brake light. A number of other lights let you know when various systems are functioning properly. These include the security, airbag, and anti-lock brake lights. You should pay close attention to these indicators. If any of these lights or gauges indicate a problem, pull over as soon as possible and consult your owner's manual for more information. Your speedometer is calibrated in both miles and kilometers per hour. A resettable trip odometer is located in the face of the speedometer. To the right of the speedometer is a tachometer, which indicates your engine speed in RPMs. Your light control dial is located left of the steering column. To turn on your parking lights, move the dial to P. To turn your headlamps on, turn the dial to the headlamp symbol. Turn the dial to the original position to turn off the lights. To the left of the light control dial is a thumb dial. By turning this up or down, you can vary the brightness of your backlit instruments. Turn the dial all the way up to turn on your interior lights. Individually controlled driver and passenger reading lamps are built into the rear view mirror. For nighttime convenience, your Monte Carlo is equipped with an illuminated entry feature. When you close the driver's door, the instrument panel and door controls, as well as the interior lights, automatically light up to help you on your way. An excellent climate control system lets you keep the inside of your Monte Carlo at a comfortable temperature and keeps your windows clear too. The controls are located at the center of the instrument panel. For increased rear seat comfort, Monte Carlo features rear seat heater ducts. This helps distribute heat evenly throughout the interior and keeps rear seat occupants comfortable. In addition, front side window defogger vents help keep windows clear in humid conditions. At the right of the climate control cluster is a rotary dial which controls air temperature. Move the dial to the blue area for cooler temperatures. Move it to the red for warmer air. Vary the fan speed using the dial at the center of the climate control cluster. Turning the dial clockwise increases fan speed. Turning it counterclockwise lowers it. The dial to the left lets you control airflow from the various outlets. 
By turning the dial to the appropriate position, you can direct air from the floor vents, windshield and side window defogger outlets, or the instrument panel vents. You can turn on the standard air conditioning by turning the dial to the max, AC or bi-level position and rotating the temperature select knob to the blue area. If you have a rear window defogger, press the button on the airflow control dial to activate it. Please see your owner's manual for more information about your climate control system. The multifunction lever on the left side of the steering column controls the high beam headlamps, turn signals, and standard intermittent windshield wipers. If you have cruise control, it is also controlled by this lever. To activate the high beams, just pull the lever toward you with your headlamps on. You'll hear a click and see a blue light on the gauge panel to indicate your high beams are on. To turn them off, pull the lever again. To set the cruise control, accelerate to the speed you want over 25 miles per hour and move the cruise switch to on. Next, push in the set button at the end of the lever and take your foot off the accelerator pedal. After setting your cruising speed, you can adjust it up or down using the tap up or tap down function on the switch. To accelerate, tap the resume accelerate switch once for every mile per hour you want to gain. You can decelerate in the same manner by tapping the button at the end of the lever. To return control to the accelerator pedal, either step lightly on the brake pedal or turn the cruise control switch to off. The multifunction lever also controls the windshield washer and wipers. To set the wipers at high speed, turn the wiper control band to the bottom position. Move the band up one position and the wipers operate at low speed. The next position up activates the delay function of your wipers. Move the band to delay and you can set the wiper speed from less than three wipes a minute up to the normal low speed. To turn off the wipers, move the band back to off. If you turn the band up lightly to the mist position, the wipers will make a single pass. To wash the windshield, push the paddle on top of the lever. Fluid will spray from nozzles located right on the wiper arm. This feature saves fluid and cleans more effectively by spraying in just the right places. Tilt steering lets you position your steering wheel to the position that's most comfortable. To adjust the tilt steering wheel, Pull the smaller paddle on the left side of the steering column toward you. Move the wheel into position and release the paddle. Oh, is this, is this it for side one? That wraps up our discussion of some of the standard and optional features of your new Monte Carlo. Knew it! Once again, congratulations and thank you for choosing a Chevrolet. We believe it will more than fulfill your expectations and your transportation needs. If you have any questions or comments about your new car, you can reach us at 1-800-222-1020, the Chevrolet Owner Assistance Hotline. Now, please listen to part two of this program for information about your sound system. I would love to. Man, um, I almost forgot to tell you about the cassette design. The ca Oh, it fades out. Oh. I almost forgot to tell you that the cassette. Well, that's up. So yeah. All right, let's take it out. So yeah, side two is gonna be on radio controls next. I mean, I almost forgot to tell you, you know, about the cassette design. Also, I did not know that the music was gonna fade out like that. So yeah, um, side two is gonna be the next one. So anyway, um, just want to tell you, um. By the look of the cassette design, the cassette design is a bit different because it's gray instead of the blue stripey one. And, you know, there is, like, a different transcript if you hear it because you know about how different it sounds. So, yeah, I feel like side two is going to be a bit shorter than side one. So, anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video for side two. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. See you in the next video. Peace out.